Ed Salazar is the CEO of Snore Less Now, a company dedicated to help people stop snoring and improve their overall quality of life. And Ed joins us now. How are you today? Doing fantastic, Toby. Thank you so much for having me on your show. It's great to have you here because snoring is maybe one of those things that we often find quite annoying but don't necessarily realize the effect that it has on us beyond that. Can it be quite harmful? That is a really great question, and you're absolutely right. I think people see it as a nuisance. Uh, Maybe you're only disturbing other people's sleep, but it really is something so much more than that. Um, And the, the sound itself could be an indication. It's the sound of air having a hard time traveling through your airway. So what what that could do for you personally is not only it could disturb your sleep pattern. So you may not have the opportunity to get as much REM sleep that is restful. So then you may struggle during the day being tired, may have difficulty concentrating. But then that same strain to get the oxygen into your system is going to increase your risk of heart attack and stroke. And people may even find themselves waking up with frequent headaches because of that. And a really shocking fact is that it's estimated that about 50% or more of the people that snore regularly and snore loudly have some degree of sleep apnea. And that's an even um, you know, more dangerous uh, disease that you could have and snoring could be an indication that you have that. So how can you fix these issues and stop snoring? Because even without the complicated health issues, anyone with a partner would probably have already tried to stop themselves from snoring. Absolutely. Um, it, 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 it could definitely cause that strain on relationships. You, you can definitely see that with snoring. Yeah. And um, I, I the, the the first thing would be to identify. So not everyone may have a partner that's advising them that they're they're snoring. And if they don't have somebody advising them, hey, you snore really loud and really frequently, um, someone may be able to identify it themselves by when they wake up, even if they get a full seven, eight hours of sleep, maybe they're feeling tired when they wake up or they have a headache when they wake up. That could be a cue that um, uh, that you have it. And, and if you do, I'd say the three top things that somebody should try is sleep position. So sleeping on your side is going to be something very beneficial. Keeping airways clear, such as using a, a, a neti pot to rinse out the sinuses of things like allergens, taking hot showers before bed. Um, And then one thing that most people don't know about that's extremely effective are mandibular advancement devices. And what is that? A mandibular advancement device is a mouth guard. It can be purchased over the counter or it can be made by a dentist. And these devices fit to the the person's teeth. It's customized to each user's teeth. The -the over-the-counter devices boil and bite much like a sports mouth guard. But the difference from a sports mouth guard is that it positions the lower jaw a little bit forward. So it pulls it forward by a few millimeters. And the tension that that creates actually opens the airway and holds the tongue in a position that the the tissues in your throat do not collapse and it keeps your airway open. It's extremely effective for um, snoring. Does drinking increase the risk of having some of these snoring related issues? Because I know someone that only snores on Friday and Saturday nights. And that's why. 100%. So uh, one of the suggestions that 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 person can implement is to uh, limit the amount of alcohol they could they could drink a little less or stop drinking sooner in the night because there is a factor with the um, the intake of alcohol that will further relax those muscles in the throat that will make someone more likely to snore. Yeah. You've also set up the Good Night blog. What inspired you to set that up? Well, the the Good Night blog is really a part of our um, overall mission and our our company. So snorelessnow.com is really a place that is a resource for people that would like to stop snoring and start sleeping better. 
And the Good Night blog offers information for people so that they have the most up to date research and resources related to treatments for snoring. We have a, a product, um, the mandibular advancement device called the Sleep Guard. And we're currently working on FDA clearance to bring that. So when you initially come to our webpage, you may not uh, find the product yet because we have we are working on that clearance, which we hope to have within the next three months. In the meantime, we want to offer our community other options to start helping them feel better now. And that is what the Good Night blog provides to our community. And we will continue to expand on what the blog offers so that we can help those that the mandibular advancement device is not a solution for. So that truly is our mission, is to improve the health and well-being of our community through the improvement of sleep. And it's interesting because the overall thing is called snore less now so is it simple as something that can happen overnight yes and and uh, often you would find that implementing some of the strategies and the tips that you'll find in our blog and the use of a mandibular advancement device can almost always eliminate snoring immediately. This is something that you will see immediate effects. And is it something that gradually improves over time? You know, the first night it's better, but the second night it's betterer and so on. The only thing, if we're speaking specifically about, uh, let's say, the use of a mandibular advancement device, such as the one that, that we'll be selling... It, the improvements would be in the potential discomfort that somebody would feel in their jaw because they're not used to having it in that position. The snoring, anti-snoring benefits and how you will feel more rested in the morning, that will be immediate and noticeable. And the person would, and, and if I can share my personal story, I was a snorer. This is what brought me here. It was something that for me, I had never heard of a mandibular advancement device. And the first time that I used one, there was an immediate effect and it, it allowed me to feel better than I had in years. Um, I used to have to sleep nine or 10 hours and I still wouldn't feel well rested. And, and after using a mandibular advancement device for the first time, I noticed that I could sleep six hours, seven hours, eight hours, and I would feel so much better even if I had slept more. Um, I had energy, my headaches went away, my blood pressure went down, my wife could sleep in the room again. Uh, she was so kind. She was actually the one that went out on the couch. So what about those who maybe live on the own or even do live with other people that are just really polite and they don't actually know that they snore and maybe somebody has no way of knowing whether they snore or not even though it's probably quite easy to find out is the mandibular advancement device a good idea maybe even if you know for sure that you don't snore is it beneficial in other ways to answer your question if you live alone um the the ways to know we have a, a free printable sleep log. You can uh, go to snorelessnow.com and download this and track your sleep patterns and your energy and your mood. Um, and if you notice that there's a pattern related to sleep, that can be an indication of snoring. There are also different apps that um, can be found on various uh, 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 app stores that will allow the phone, your cell phone, for example, to be on next to you at the bedside and will track the sound of snoring and let you know how much you've snored throughout the night. Um, and then there's many wearables too, such as smart watches and Fitbits, things like that, that uh, will also advise, hey, are you getting a good amount of REM sleep at night? So if you don't snore, is the mandibular advancement device still useful or is it only useful for those who do snore? It's only useful for those that do snore. Um, it's something that takes some getting used to and can potentially cause some discomfort in the jaw. So you wouldn't want to use this if you don't have any breathing issues at night. Um, it's something that will bring tremendous benefit to those that do have the breathing issues. However, um, I would still uh, recommend and advise folks listening into the show to check out Snore Less Now and read the Good Night blog because we offer a tremendous amount of leading research related to improving overall sleep health. And by following 
following some of the advice that we offer, folks like athletes and people in perfect condition uh, will find themselves reaching new heights when they focus on improving their sleep quality. Now, you mentioned that you were a snorer. Is that what inspired you to set up this initially? Absolutely. Um, When I discovered mandibular advancement devices, I found that they were not all created equally. They had tremendous uh, health impact and made me feel better, but they weren't all very comfortable. Uh, They didn't last long or they were made of poor quality materials. And we, uh, we formed a partnership with a Swiss manufacturer who I believe is building the best mandibular advancement device out there in the market. It's, it's very comfortable. It's high quality. And when you compare it to its competitors and you hold one in each hand, the difference is, is simply remarkable. It's made of um, at least 30% less material. It's more comfortable. It's flexible. It allows mouth movement when most of these devices don't allow the user to open or open their mouth or the jaw to move side to side, whereas the device that we have will have all of those features. What would your advice be to somebody listening to this who knows they snore or think they might, who maybe isn't convinced by your arguments and maybe feels that snoring still isn't really much of an issue to them? I would urge them to to give this a try. Uh, uh, go on our website, snorelessnow.com, um, subscribe to, to our email list, and we have a money-back guarantee. So once our product is released, um, somebody that does snore doesn't feel that um, if they are not convinced, they can try the product and see how they feel. And I think the quality of their rest will be so apparent to them that they will not want to return the product at that time. And there's the money back guarantee, but there's also the option to not spend any money in the first place because you've got some free resources on the website, which will be quite useful as well. Yes, I appreciate you uh pointing that out absolutely (laughs) and we look to expand upon that as well through uh we've got daily social media videos with tips and tricks uh on on youtube instagram and facebook we um invite our community to ask questions and that also drives the content that we provide so if somebody has questions they can come to our website or come to any of our various social media channels and ask those questions and we'll, we'll, we'll get them the answers from our sleep experts and sleep consultants. Excellent. Well, what's coming up in the maybe short term and the long term as well for Sleep Less Now? Are there plans to, uh, sorry, snore less now, not sleep less. That's, that's a bad thing. Are there plans for extra features coming soon? Absolutely. So some of the, the newer things that we have coming as we wait for our FDA clearance is our blogs, our more popular blogs, will be turned into YouTube videos for folks that do not like to read the longer form blogs. They can listen in to our channel and learn the same content. Excellent. Well, in the meantime, where are we able to find Snore Less Now and the Good Night blog and everything that you'd want us to find? I would advise folks to navigate to snorelessnow.com. Excellent. Well, many thanks for talking to us today. It's been great to have you on. Toby, thank you so much. The pleasure was mine. I hope we reach a great audience that's able to benefit from this. Thank you.